In today's video, we'll talk about Linux gaming versus Windows gaming. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about availability of games. As of 2021, almost 10,000 games are available on Steam supported for Linux distros. In 2019, there were almost 6,000 games. So we can have an idea of how much work is being done to have more and more games for Linux with time passing. But if we talk about the Windows operating system, more than 30,000 games are available on Steam. Not only that, we have some compelling platforms like Epic Games that also offers you to download, install, and play numerous games on Windows operating system. Other than that, third-party platforms and websites are filled with an incredible number of games that you can download and play. That is not the case over the Linux. So we can see the humongous difference between the numbers of games available for both type of operating system. But keep in mind that games for Linux are increasing day by day and therefore there is no expectation for it to stop or slow down. Then we have indie games. Developers are developing the top grossing indie games and developers are mainly focused on the market's major part the Windows operating system platform. And unlike the AAA companies, they do not have many resources to work with. So they focus on the majority section or majority segment of the market. And some of the very prominent games for Windows operating system are Dota 2, Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Far Cry, etc. If I talk about some of the prominent games for Linux, we have Minecraft, GTA, Tom Ridder, Watch Dogs, etc. Now let's talk about the driver support. Windows operating system supports for driver is better than Linux. In Windows, many drivers come pre-installed and installing the new drivers is straightforward. In Windows, you can install drivers from Windows Update, but in Linux, you need to write command to install different drivers, for example, DirectX is required to run many games, but Linux doesn't support DirectX. Even those drivers which are available for Linux, we have to download and install them from our command line. But in Windows, we have different ways to download and install different drivers. In Windows, if we update our operating system or update the game independently, it probably solves most of the problems. And not only that, Installing the drivers and supporting libraries in Windows is much easier than Linux and that makes Windows more lovable by the majority of the gamers as there is always a way that people can follow to play their games on Windows operating system. If we talk about the same scenario in Linux, we do not have much freedom. Firstly, the gaming majority on Linux is not mature enough and secondly, People have not started to invest that much time yet for solutions on the Linux platform. And most importantly, as we have a lot of Linux distributions, each Linux distribution uses a different repository for software, drivers, packages it offers to its users. So the user is dependent on the repository if the needed driver is available in that repository or not. And that is why Linux is behind in terms of driver support. Other than that, in Linux, there are only a few things that we can do from the interface. And most of the time, most tasks are done using the terminal. And for someone new to the Linux environment, that is a very hectic thing to do. Now let's talk about the security. Suppose you are new to Linux distribution and have no prior knowledge about how Linux distributions work. In that case, you might feel that Linux distributions are very vulnerable to viruses and malware attacks as they are open source. But the reality is contrary. It has proven to be more secure and safe 
than Windows operating system and as it is open source, its code is available to the public. Anyone can tweak and improve it. And because of the many devoted developers around the world, as soon as any vulnerabilities come or anything that could make Linux vulnerable to viruses and malware, they get removed or countermeasured immediately. And because of that, Linux is considered safe for game because of its security. For example, if you face any issue while playing your game or if you think that there is some malware or there is some virus, you just need to inform people about it. There are people who will work that out and that vulnerability will get removed permanently from Linux distribution. And in future, your Linux will get more secure. On the other hand, if we talk about the Windows, a question comes to mind. How Windows operating system is more vulnerable to viruses and malware when such a giant company develops it? Windows is an ideal target for malware developers and most inexperienced users rely on this operating system. Yes, there are some third-party softwares and tools that we can use to ensure the integrity and security of Windows operating system like Avast Antivirus, Norton, McAfee, Bitdefender, etc. Still, it will cost you some extra bucks. So overall, we can say that Linux is more secure by default and less vulnerable to attacks than Windows. When we play online games, there are chances to connect to different servers. And those servers can be insecure as most of the time, we make local servers and play games with our friends and peers. Even if we use some global servers, there are great chances that there will be a lot of bots on those servers and a lot of people will be using them to inject vulnerabilities into your systems. In such cases, Windows is not as secure as Linux because security comes as default and is designed to keep your system safe. Now let's talk about gaming distros. While some Linux distros are designed primarily for gaming and we get very minimal applications as they allow the users to have only those applications that they require and need. And in those Linux distributions, we get support for NVIDIA as default. For example, we have Pop OS from System76 and Garuda, and both of these supports the NVIDIA graphic card and they are considered one of the best Linux distros for gaming. That is not the case with Windows operating system. We only have one type of operating system and everything we need should be done in it. But that is a great thing about Windows as you can do almost anything in it and you can download and install anything you like in it. You do not need to worry about downloading any other version for some specific type of work. Now let's talk about some of the prominent features. Some prominent features are available in the latest version of Windows, which are significant for gaming. And obviously now we have Windows 11. For example, we have Auto HDR in Windows 11 and that gets used for the high definition display. And we all love to have the sharp display when we play games. And Linux does not have that kind of feature. Other than Auto HDR, we have direct storage in Windows operating system as well. Direct storage is an API for the game developers that they use to create more expensive and rich games and reduce the load time while playing the games. Other than that, direct storage is also gets used for superior graphics for the better performance for the current and next generation games. At the end, let's have conclusion. So we try to compare both platform in almost every aspect that are needed or that considered necessary for gaming. And we have seen that Linux is a cost effective and more secure operating system, but it is in its early years for gaming support. Although Linux has a bright future, but Windows is a better platform right now. And Windows is a mainstream platform as the majority of the developers are prioritizing it. And because of that, we have more and more games and support for the Windows operating system. So Linux is good, but Windows is better than Linux. So it all depends on the type of games you want to play and how experienced you are with Linux distribution. 
as of now, I would suggest you to go with Windows as it is more stable and offers more flexibility and choices. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.